So I wanted to show you guys something here. Um, I wasn't planning on making a video about this, but I couldn't find one that was clear online. So I just kind of figured it out myself. So basically you have this, um, you know, your board here. I had my, uh, my buttons on my joysticks um, plugged in already, my encoder board, I meant to say. So I'm trying to get power to an LED, um, you know, a lit up LED light uh, button, sorry. And uh, I'm thinking about a couple of things as I'm talking. Um, so, so this little area over here, I know these are five volt, like five volt or six volt lights, not 12 volt or whatnot. So right here, it says five volt. So basically I just took my cable. I didn't even have the right cable because this had larger connection. So I spliced it. I had two different ones. I spliced it, no problem. Boom, lit up my light. So now I'm going to put in my, uh, where is it? Here it is. My cherry switch and use two more of those cables to um, connect my button to the encoder where that'll be for the controls. This is for the electricity. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the different wires I used in the different terminal sizes. So when you do the uh, LED portion of it, the lighter portion, it's uh, bigger terminals and I only had uh, I only had these. So these size kind of like the arcade one up button size and I didn't need these for the buttons. So all I did was I spliced one of these wires and I had these laying around with the bigger terminals. So you just put a cut right here, splice it, grip it together. And I just used a little black electric tape, super easy. So I made myself the wire for the proper wire, um, the proper terminal size for uh, the LEDs. And then I just used one of these, like Arcade One Up style, for uh, the button part. They also sell these things if you ever want to do a very simple LED setup. But I find that these buttons usually aren't as good. But, um, you know, it's all done for you already here. It has the three wires all into one. And um, the three pin here. But um, they come with special encoders as well that are made for these three pin if you go that route uh, when i bought this i just i found that i bought it a while ago and i forgot i even had these kind of just uh this is also a large terminal but it had no end on it so these were kind of just extensions wires so i spliced them and these are what i used as well oh, and i wanted to show you guys also this cool little dremel that i bought came the same day. I used it for a different project. I'll actually do a video on that project as well. First time I ever used this tool, but I knew that this was the tool that I needed to do multiple things. So I think it was maybe like 30 bucks or 35 bucks. And this is, um, you know, a uh, rechargeable one. It's not that powerful, um, but powerful enough to slowly cut through wood, slowly cut through plastic, to grind. These are sand parts. So yeah, so it came with this too so this little set of um you know different tools and what really came in handy for me today was this saw so this little saw you attach it here and um what i use this for is those uh those xl buttons for some reason they have these little plastic um i don't even know what to call them these little plastic points sticking out of the bottom of the button like two little points so you can't really lay them flat on the surface i don't know why they put them there so um i just took like little pliers and like ripped them right off and then sawed what was left with this or you could just saw it you know through completely but um yeah don't be scared of this stuff guys if you haven't done any mods before i've only been at this with my pcs and raspberry pies and all these little tools and splicing and electrical maybe for like three years ish three and a half years and, um, you know, most of the stuff is just watching YouTube videos, just like you're watching this one and a little bit of tinkering and some stuff takes time. I don't have much patience, so I'll put stuff on hold and then maybe get back to it. I don't like to sit at a thing for too, too long, but, um, yeah, don't be scared. Just try, 
you know, try things, start slow, start small. And really, if I can do it, anybody can do this stuff. I also didn't find one. Well, I didn't really look for this, but I saw somebody else uh, doing something on Facebook with uh, LED lights direct to arcade one up PCBs. And I want to look into that a little more because I'm not sure if they have that five volt and six volt option there. So this is what it looks like underneath the deck of the panel. And you see it has the four wires here, two for controls and two for electric. Now these are a little different. I believe that on these buttons, the terminals are the same size. So you can probably get those as well, which might be a little easier. And um, you see right here, they're hooked up into the same, uh, the same type of port and they're all daisy chained. So they daisy chain together and then connect it to this five volt power port right there. And the same thing, um, actually you see on this one, this is for player three, I guess player three and four have their own. I don't think there is a five volt here and they're just all chained to this one. And it's giving power for everything for all four panels.